Howdy folks, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the mystery of the Marine Scream on the Mission Quarantine Zone. And the scream I'm referring to is during the ending cutscene of this mission. So, a couple years ago, I uploaded a video where I thought there was a new Easter egg with Marina Keys having a little secret battle cry in the video. Let me show you that uh, some clips on the original video first. So at the time, I thought that scream actually came from Miranda Keys, but as it turns out, it does not come from her. So let's take a look at where that scream is actually coming from. But before we get into that, I want to first announce an awesome giveaway from my sponsor, Insta Gaming, where you can win any game of your choice. You can find a link for this giveaway in the description below. So if you want to win the game of your choice, any game at all really, then all you have to do is click on the link below and enter the game you would like to win. You can also click some of the additional blue buttons for more chances to win as well. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And after doing all that, you're entered in the contest to win the game of your choice. But make sure to act fast because this giveaway is for this month only. Alright, so to figure out where that screen was coming from, I had to go all the way back to my original Xbox and use a little trainer slash mod tool called Yellow Trainer that basically has a feature that lets me fly around during a cutscene as well as walk around and shoot during a cutscene as well. So that'll let me investigate and see where that screen is coming from exactly. So, that scream in the original video, I did mention, I thought it was an easter egg, but it's not, but I did mention that it happens very rarely, and that is true, it is very rare to happen, but it does still happen once in a while, and now we know exactly what happens. So during this cutscene, after uh, Miranda Keys does her thing, Johnson saves her, and then shortly after that, Arbiter comes in and attacks him. So, this all happens during that scene. And the scream is actually coming from Johnson, not Arbiter, not Miranda Keys. It is not a battle cry, and it's not some weird glitch Arbiter dialogue. But how is it coming from Johnson? Well, I finally captured it after several tries, because like I said, it's really rare that it happens. But let me show you guys what happened, so just watch for now, and I'll come back and explain later. Damn. How you doing? Sergeant, stay down! Johnson, you all right? Johnson! Excellent work, Arbiter. will be Alright, so you probably just saw and heard a lot of things there. But what happened was Miranda Keys shot Johnson. So right now I'm going to play in slow motion, watch to the left of Johnson's head. You can see that little stray bullet right there, that one little bullet hit him in the head, and that's what caused him to scream. And then after that scene where Miranda Keys accidentally shot Johnson in the head, you saw me continue to shoot his body a little bit, and each time I shot his body, you know, just a single hit from a bullet made him scream again and again, because, you know, he's not actually dead, and he's still conscious, but he has a regular male marine scream. But I'll get into that a little bit later. But first, why did Miranda Keys hit Johnson sometimes and other times not? Well, actually, most of the times not hit Johnson. Well, that has to do with how the SMG works. And this actually applies to single player and multiplayer with the SMG. So the more you fire the SMG when it goes full auto, it has a spread to the shot. Kind of like with other weapons like the BR and, and stuff and actually the Magnum in Halo 1 when you auto fire it. The more you fire it the more inaccurate it gets and that inaccuracy, the way the bullets spread out and fly in random directions sometimes, that's determined by RNG. It's basically just randomly generated the way it spreads and for it to spread a little bit further out and hit Johnson by accident, quote unquote, it has to be you know very like a perfect random number generated essentially so that's why it's very rare because usually hitting Johnson's a little bit far out of the range that the random numbers would normally get generated for a SMG spread but in those very rare occasions you know it, we get really lucky or Johnson gets unlucky and the SMG's random spread does you know hit him but what about his scream well this particular version of Johnson used in the cutscene has no you know, specific dialogue assigned to that variant. 
So without any specific dialogue assigned to it, like, you know, default dialogue, combat dialogue, it'll just default to a male marine dialogue, the default marine dialogue. So that's basically why Johnson has that scream. But yeah, there you guys have it. Mystery solved. <laughs> that random marine screen happens because Miranda Keys accidentally <laughs> shot Johnson, and Johnson makes that specific scream, or those kinds of screams, because he has no specific dialogue assigned to him, so he has a default marine scream as a result. But yeah, so there you guys have it. Uh, finally solved that mystery after a couple years. I did debunk my own video, but you know, it's uh, still pretty interesting why it happens. And we get to see how the cutscene goes behind the scenes and where those bullets are flying. But anyways, hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting. And if you did enjoy this video, as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments, any questions you have, anything you want me to check out, or th other things you want me to explore or tackle. Just let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.